Alright guys, welcome to the first episode of the Pokemon Nuzlocke um, on Billion Diamond. Um, there is a few things to mention before I start this episode off. I did do an episode 1 already and the video corrupted so luckily I have a backup to the start and I will go through each bit as I tell you uh, as we go through so it's not um, basically not causing any issues. So. We caught a Medicham at the lake. Um, one before we get into the Pokemon we caught, I've tried like four times to get this back to attack up and uh, attack down, defense up. Just won't happen. So stuck with that. Um, made the backup like I mentioned. So now it'll always be that. Um, so here we had a Medicham, so I'm going to search around to find one. Not a Glebe. So, what I'm going to do is, for the, these two encounters, I'm not going to... Um, if I die, I'm not going to count it as a, a death or a restart. Um, so I just need to find a Medicham. And that's what we're going to do. But I will... I'm not going to just catch them. So what's going to happen is... I will... Um, basically go through the battle like normal. So if I miss out, I miss out. Basically. So I'll bring you back once we find a Medicham. Right guys, I have realised something. Um, when I got attacked, I went below... 50% and I realized that my Twitter does now have Torrent. I haven't re-randomized the ROM. As you'll see on the next route, we'll find the same Pokemon. Um, don't know why that's changed, but it's still randomized. I'm guessing I got a hidden ability last time. Or Turtwig can have two abilities. So I just wanted to point that out. Right, bring you back when we got a Medicham. Okay guys, and we're back. So finally found the Medicham, so what we're going to do is we're going to withdraw. I'm going to do exactly what I did last time and hopefully it will happen the same way. So what I did was I withdrew once and then tackled. Forgot it had Ice Punch. Nice, got it in one. I don't know what's happening if it feels like this is a one type of guy. Last time it took two balls. I mean, that's because it was level three, but either way, that's still insane. Um, and then what we we encountered a Celio on the next route. Um, I'll, I'll try and see if I can save the footage of catching the Medicham and the Celio from the other episode. Um, but the footage is pretty much dead. So. Right, so let's go and catch this Celio, shall we? Yeah, I didn't know mana fees were here. Unfortunately, that is not what we encountered. So, I cannot catch it. So, I'll find a Celio and I'll bring you back. Alright guys, and we're back. Um, finally found a Celio. So, I know it has rollout, so I'm going to withdraw. Um, I did get stuck in a Manaphy fight, which is why my Turtwig's three levels higher. And I think my Medicham was level five. Yeah. Nothing I can do about it, it wouldn't let me run, so.
Um, I am going to withdraw. Hopefully he'll growl me again. I can attack him one more time. Oh, I could just. Right, okay. Come on. Got him. Okay, so. We've now got the party that I had in the second episode, so it didn't. So basically, we didn't go any. Didn't change what I had because I didn't know there was a mana fee and stuff there. Um. Okay. Ice points, low kick, confusion, right? Confusion, go there. Right, so what ability? Tangled feet, that's the same. No warning, that's the same. The only one that changed was torrent on the turtle. So, now we're back to this, um, let's go and get our third encounter. This is basically where my um, Elgato crashed, I tried to save the footage and couldn't, so. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I'm looking forward to what's what's here because I never got a chance to check this. But what I'm going to do is, I've had to change the time and the date um, to be able to get the same mons that I have. So I will change it back to normal settings which is synchronized with the internet just so I'm not so the time the encounter table could be the right encounter table for what time it is I'm doing this for as this is brand new so I'm gonna make a small cut here and I'll bring you back and we're back and um, as you can see it's now dark and um, this is the internet time for what time it is now which is currently 12 minutes past midnight in the UK so let's go and get our encounter Would have preferred a haunch crow from the other route, but okay. Um, it's level four, so Celo should be a good shout here. Um, don't actually know. So we're gonna defense curl. Oh shit, it's got into it. Right, okay. If it's got Exor, we're going to have to go to Turtwig to do this. Alright, so left withdraw. So it's about like Mean Look, Supersonic, Absorb, and Astonish. Doing about a third. 
almost a flinch then. Right. Let's try and catch this. Oh. Yes, boys. Oh wow, that's a lot of EXP. Okay. We might be training up here a little bit. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to run back to the Pokemon Center. Oh, thank God it wasn't one of these. Um, go back to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and then we're going to get at least all our Pokemon to level 8. Including our newly acquired Crobat. So if we're level 10. I can also give it a life orb. Speaking of life orbs, um, there's a hidden item, isn't it? Over to the left near the lake. We're going to get that as well. That's cool. A good one as well. Um, poison, has it got any? It hasn't got any poison moves. Speed up, defense down. That's at, was that magic guard? Only takes damage from attacks. Yeah, it's not bad. Hey, we got a potion. Lovely. Alright, come on then. Let's go and uh, train up a bit. Probably not the best thing to be fighting, if I'm really honest. Yeah, no. Run. Um. Oh, we haven't got a life orb. I must have forgot to get it. All right, hold on, guys. Let me just go down there and get the life orb that we got last episode. Like I said, I did have to start again, so... Um and we can also use the big root on Crobat to heal more decent. Right, let's go and train up anyway. Ooh, Vulpix. Desolate land. Okay. Wow. And I got burned. Shocker. All right, let's go. I'll get Crow back to level 6, and I'll get Medicam to level 8, and then we'll move on to the next fight. Uh, confusion.
Crowbot's at level 5. Ooh, a chincha would have been nice, you know. And let's do absorb. If this has thunder shock, it might do a lot of damage. To be fair, we've not got a bad team at all. It's actually a very good team. The Gligar. Oh, it didn't do anything. We're gonna get poisoned in a minute, aren't we? Oh, we can't, because we're poison tight. Astonish. Super effective. Right. Oh, we've got a crit and a flinch. What a turn. Right. That should be it. That should be where we can go into the next trainer bar. Yeah. What, what could possibly go wrong? One Pokemon, okay. Oopsie. Wow, okay. Right, 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 right. This could be very troublesome. And um, we're gonna Supersonic to confuse it. Oh! Right, okay. I'm gonna go out to Turtwig and hopefully we can leafage this down. Right, you're just not gonna hit yourself once, are you? Hey, finally. It's not that confusing. Rest, are you kidding? However, I think we should free hit this and it rest is a guaranteed two turn sleep. So I think we win this, eh? Yeah, we do. Easy. Easy dub. Oh yeah. Quite a few levels there, actually. Especially for Crobat. Which is nice. What does Crobat learn um, from level up? Feel like not a lot. Um, let's have a look. Brilliant Darren Shampoo. Crowbat. Okay, so he does learn Poison Fang at level 15, which is first stab move. So, yeah, we'll just keep him out for a bit. Could do with that poison fang. Execute. Oh. Psychic. So astonish should be super effective. Drizzle. Okay. Oh yeah, super effective. However, I'm quite disappointed that he doesn't get his first flying move to level 27. 27! 
Hopefully I find a TM before then. A Geodude, oh no, no, no. Absorb. Easy win, unless it's actually kept this sturdy. It hasn't. Which is good. So. This one, this episode might be a bit longer than normal. Um, just because of the corruption of the last video, I wanted to go through it properly. Um, I do need to check whether our uh, Thunderwave. Oh no. Goodbye. We're not staying in Paralyzed, not with a doubt. Oh, well, we've got an up speed. Yeah, we're up in speed, so we still would have quite outpaced it. And it's more of attack than special attack, so that's kind of useless, but that's good. Hmm. I'm actually going to put Celio at the front. I wonder when he learns a good move. Because currently, we've only got Rollout, which is obviously super effective on flying types, which is great. But. Right, he learns his first Ice type move at level 12, which I will take. Obviously, he's water as well, so he has got his first stab move as in water gun. So. That's not too bad. Works out here as well. Disable. Fabulous. Everything's got disable. I feel like Celia might be a uh, very good mom for us. Yeah, look at his defences and his attack stats. The only issue with him, he doesn't evolve till I think it's 40? Maybe a bit higher. Silver powder. Doesn't that increase bug type moves? Yeah. So, useless for us. What we'll do is, we'll get the Poketch and then we'll leave it there. That way, we've got our encounters to the, to the north, to the right. And I believe we can fish to the left as well, so we have three encounters at the start of the next episode as well. So... We shouldn't be that far away. Right, Pokech time. Let's go. Oh, we've got, got to train the school first, haven't we? Give Barry his parcel. I can't remember you fighting me. If you do, it'd be nice. I know we fight him to the right. No, we do not fight him here. Okay. I know we can fight these two. Let's go. An Abra. Okay. Kind of an easy dub for me. <laughs> See how speed fell. Yeah, he's slow anyway. The fact that we still at pace on an Abra, that's good. Right, and we can fight the kid next to him as well. Get a few more EXP and some money. That's point we need to check the Pokemon as well. Um we won't be if we do find Master Balls, I will not be abusing it. I'll be getting one and that's it. 
Um, however, if we do find Safari Balls, as they are only Great Balls, I will be getting 99 of them. Quiver Dance. Not bad. Should have given this a uh, shiny silver. But I've got all silver powder. I've all eleven already. Okay. Right, let's go. There was nothing in there for us to get. Um, but this guy will give us a poke catch now. Which is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give us a poke catch. Go and get the vouchers. Blah, blah, blah. Let's heal. Okay. We'll get this one while we're here. EXP points, that's how they gain levels, yep. I think all three of them are yes anyway. So. But what can we buy here? Light clay. Worth the 200, but I won't be. If we are going to be fishing, it might be worth it. I'll buy three more. Alright, so we get the rest of these and we'll also go and get the uh, fishing rod over here. Coupon three, and then we get coupon two from down here. But we'll go this way first and get the fishing rod. Go. Oh god, obtained. Right. To be fair, we can also go back down and get the encounter where we've got the life orb. We can fish there. So, I might go and do that. Depends on what we get in these three up here. But we'll get all four. We'll we'll get these three up here encounters in the next episode, and then what we'll do is we'll go ahead from there. So guys, uh, thanks for watching. Give a like, subscribe, and I will speak to you in the next one.